from Riyadh to Dammam. It was four hours. I thought the train might be like extra fancy because this is Saudi Arabia, but it was nothing really to write home about. It was nice, kind of the same as like the UK style trains. Um, they have first class and second class. I had to go first class so there were no second class seats. But what I was most impressed about is the price. It was really, really, really reasonable. Um, so yeah, definitely look into that um, instead of flying if you want to get to Demam. But right now I'm going to get an Uber to my hotel and then I'm excited to see this seaside city that I have no idea about. I've just checked into my hotel. I'm staying at the Golden Garden Corniche. Um, like I said in my video, my first video from Saudi Arabia when I was in Riyadh is accommodation here is just a little bit strange. Um, I mean, this is great if you're a family, but it's just one person and I had to obviously pay for a suite even though I'm just one person. Um, also ratings on booking.com are really low, like sixes and sevens. Um, you don't really get much that's kind of nine and 10, which is something that, yeah, I'm not used to. Um, definitely having to pay more for accommodation here than I would in many other countries as well. Um, but anyway, I'll leave the link for this hotel in the description and we're not here for the hotels anyway. I'm gonna head out, see the water, hopefully see a really good sunset. Oh my gosh. Uh. It is super windy, but first impressions are good because you can walk here. There is quite a big footpath, it seems like, all around the Corniche. And yeah, I couldn't walk anywhere in Riyadh. And I think Jeddah is also pretty unwalkable. So, so far for travelers that like to walk and explore like me, good. in Dammam and this is my only full day here. It's already the afternoon though because I had to work but I worked in this lovely cafe called Paradise Cafe if you come here and you stay at the same hotel as me. Um, but right now I am going to get an Uber to the Heritage Village. Um, it seems like there are quite a few things to do here in Dammam. I know there's a fort, um, obviously you've got the water to walk by, there's some parks but again like Riyadh you do really need a car to be here. As an independent traveler without transport, it's hard, but Uber does work. So I'm not gonna push myself to see everything here. I just kind of wanted to get a vibe. It's really nice to see another city in Saudi. It's a bit more chill by the ocean. Heritage Village and I've actually just met the operational manager here um, who said they're actually moving this place where I am now to a much bigger building. I've just seen some photos of it and it looks amazing. So if you are coming to Demam, then you should definitely go there and I'll leave the links below. Um, but right now I'm gonna show you around this place because it's very similar to the other one, but the other one's gonna be better. cool that they have places like this here and they have a few in Riyadh as well um, and it's really nice as a tourist here to go to these places and see some of the well firstly eat the traditional food and see some of the cultural pieces without needing to go out into the countryside and into the villages which from my experience here in Saudi so far is proving hard to do as a tourist um, so yeah if you are coming to Saudi then make sure you check out some of these cultural heritage villages where you can eat um, and then some of them have a museum as well but right now I think I'm just gonna head back down to the Corniche um, have a slow walk yeah and hopefully I feel like I'm not really doing that much sorry this uh, video might have been a bit boring but yeah this is just what I'm doing in Dammam so let me show you the rest Thank you, Chicken. Woo! 
got to have an ice cream when you're by the ocean, even in Saudi Arabia. So I'm actually now officially on the Corniche here in Daman and it's a really nice area. It's like a big horseshoe shape. And even though it's not the weekend today, I think it's a Tuesday, there are still loads of families having picnics and I guess just enjoying this really nice weather. Um, there's places where you can get snacks, like I just got that ice cream, although the ice cream wasn't that nice. to catch another sunset here in Dammam and that must be definitely one of the top things to do because the two sunsets I've seen have been absolutely stunning. I'm gonna end this video here because it is the evening and tomorrow I go back to Riyadh on the train again. So I hope this video hasn't been too boring because I really haven't done that much in Dammam but I am glad I know what this kind of oceanside city is now like and it's been good to see somewhere else in Saudi Arabia apart from Riyadh and also somewhere that's so easy to get to and cheap to get to from Riyadh. So if you do want a few days away from Riyadh and somewhere that's a bit more chill, then definitely come here. And if you haven't seen my other two videos, then make sure you check those out. I've got my first 24 hours in Riyadh and then I went to the edge of the world. And if you're not familiar with my travels, <laughs> then I am in Saudi Arabia alone as an independent traveler. Um, so I wanted to capture all of my thoughts and feelings and everywhere I go here because it is so new for international tourism and yeah I want to give you my honest opinion on what it is like. So with that being said I'm going back to Riyadh tomorrow so the next video will probably be from Riyadh. Thank you very much for watching, shukran and see you in the next video.